This is the inside story of your heart and blood, Lubba Dubba. And here to tell you about it is the one and only Slim Goodbody. I've got feet to take me places and legs for running races and arms for warm embraces, not to mention my gorgeous face. It might sound quite conceited, but I know what a feat it is to be as well completed as this. Oh, how I love to feel the drive. What a joy to be alive. But our show is not just about my body here. Oh, no. It's about your body, too. So right now, everyone who's watching, point to your body and say, this is my body. Good. Point to the person sitting next to you. Say, that is your body. Right. Under our skin, we've all got muscles to move around. Bone so we don't fall down. A small and a large intestine, a liver and a stomach for food digestion, a heart that keeps on beating two lungs, which keep on breathing skin, keeps our bodies in and our brain keeps them out of the rain. How I love to feel the drive, and I'm glad to be alive. Slim Good Body is my name, and I am here to guide you on a tour which will explore everything inside you but before we start exploring there is something i must tell everything you see in me is part of you as well what you see in my body here is in your body too and at the end of the show when we're all through you're gonna know why it's true there's nothing in the world more remarkable than you you and your wonderful body our bodies are filled with incredible things. Well, first of all, we have two pipes that lead down from the back of our throat. One is called the windpipe, and it brings air into our lungs. The other two brings food into our stomach, and that's called the esophagus. This is the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, the liver. We have lungs. We have ribs, which attach them back to the spine. A lot of other bones. We've got muscles oh and speaking about muscles what is this right the heart the greatest pump the greatest muscle in the world now everybody hold your hand out like this pretend you've got a rubber ball in your hand pretend the rubber ball is filled up with water there's a hole in the top squeeze the rubber ball <laughs> out comes the water relax your hand bop and the ball pops back to shape do it again you know, your heart works something like this, only your heart is filled with blood. And when it squeezes, boom, it pumps the blood through your body. Then it relaxes, squeezes, relaxes, squeezes. Only I like to think that my heart sounds something like this. Of course, hearts are very important parts of animals too, not just human beings. Since animals come in all different sizes and types, their hearts are different, too. Some cold-blooded animals can make their hearts beat fast or slow, depending upon the temperature. Lubba dubba 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 A bird's heart goes very fast. Lubba dubba lubba dubba lubba dubba lubba dubba lubba dubba lubba dubba lubba And so does the small mammals. Lubba dubba 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 But a large one goes... Lubba dubba Lubba dubba lubba dubba lubba dubba lubba Your body is incredible. It's busy every minute. Amazing things are happening to keep you living in it. Your heart is beating, lungs are breathing, blood is circulating, your mind is thinking, eyes are blinking, skin is insulating. Billions of cells are working together, all in harmony, creating what I like to call the human factory. One of the most important and hardworking parts in this factory is the heart. 
Now, when your heart pumps, it doesn't just spurt blood through your body. No, the blood flows through muscular tubes, which are called blood vessels. The blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart are the arteries. The blood vessels which carry blood back to the heart, they're the veins. Altogether, you've got over 60,000 miles of blood vessels in your body. That means if they were strung in a straight line, they would stretch almost three times around the world. In my body, I've got about five quarts of blood. This blood flows through my body all the time. One important stop, the lungs, where it picks up oxygen from the air you breathe in. Another important stop, the small intestine, where it picks up the digested food. Now, where does the blood bring all these things? The cells. Cells are the tiniest living parts of your body. There are billions and billions of them. You might think of yourself as a sort of family of cells all working together. There are many different types. Muscle cells, all of these together make up muscles. Skin cells, all of these together make up skin. Brain cells, and many more. But each and every one of these billions of cells has something in common. They all need food, oxygen, and a way of getting rid of the waste. Well, this happens through the walls of the capillaries. Capillaries are the tiniest blood vessels in your body. They connect the arteries to the veins. This is what they actually look like. It's a river of life flowing through your body with each beat. Your heart will squeeze blood through the arteries, which branch out like trees to reach all of your body. And then it's back to your heart through the veins. But in your heart, blood doesn't remain, for it's pumped again on its never-ending journey. You know, your body system of circulation is the world's greatest method of transportation, a river of life that flows under your skin. Round and around in one direction, providing food and air and waste collection to every single cell that lies within. Blood will circulate along a route that's a figure eight, and it makes the trip a thousand times a day. From your heart to your lungs to get air, back to your heart to be pumped everywhere, and it takes less than one minute to flow the whole way. But how do we know so much about the body? Well, people have been studying and learning about it for centuries. Over 300 years ago, a man in England made some important discoveries. His name was Dr. William Harvey, and he proved that blood flowed out of the heart through the arteries and back through the veins, always in one direction. Here he is long ago in his laboratory. Yes, there. That should make your veins stand out nicely. You know, of course, that this doesn't hurt a bit. My experiment was very simple, really, and anyone could do it. Here, yeah. you flatten a vein by pushing out the blood. By the way, the blood isn't really blue, you know. It only looks that way underneath the skin. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Now, if you lift the finger closer to the heart, nothing happens. The vein stays flat because no blood flows back into it. But if you lift the other finger, well, you can see how the blood rushes in. So we know for sure that the blood flows only in one direction. It comes out from the heart through arteries we can't see and goes back to the heart in this direction through the veins. Round and round it goes over and over again. Thank you, Samuel. And so the blood circulates, propelled through the body by this marvelous pump, an organ I have studied for many, many years. You know, it's one of the first things formed in any new living creature. In this egg, for example, a tiny chicken is only a few days old. Its heart is already beating, and some veins and arteries have formed too. There it is, the beginning of life. Oh, my. <sighs> There are still many secrets here for me. Dr. Harvey learned a lot about the heart, and we've kept learning ever since. Here's what we know now. First of all, the heart has four rooms or chambers. When the blood returns from the body through the veins, it enters the atria. Blood is flowing into and out of the heart on the other side, too. But for right now, we'll just look at one side at a time. 
As the atrium fills, the valve between the chambers opens and the blood flows into the right ventricle. The atrium squeezes in the final bit. Next, when the ventricle contracts, this valve will be forced shut while this one opens. Each squeeze forces blood into the lungs. Lubba, dubba. In the capillaries in the lungs, the blood gets rid of its load of carbon dioxide, which it brought from the cells, and then takes on its fresh supply of oxygen, which turns it a bright red color. Now the blood flows back into the other side of the heart. The atrium squeezes the last bit of blood into the ventricle. When it's the ventricle's turn to squeeze, the valve shuts, and this one opens. The bright red blood with its oxygen is pumped out into the body through the great artery, the aorta. Pump, pump, pump goes your heart. Sending the blood on its way, yeah. 80 beats a minute, 115,000 beats a day. Pumping over and over again. It's your heart, a strong and hard-working friend. It's beating out the rhythm of life. Your heart is a muscle about the same size as your fist. Everybody right now, make a fist. Good. I want to teach you the new dance, the Muscle Hustle. Goes like this. Good. It used to be called the Cardiac Twist. Now, I want everybody who's watching to do an experiment with me. Simple. Everybody stand up. Good. Put your hands on your heart. Now, I want you to begin very slowly and then really move in place with me with a lubba dubba. We're going to prove that the harder you work, the harder your heart has to pump. Ready? Lubba dubba. Good. Dubba, lubba, dubba, a little faster. Lubba, dubba, lubba, dubba, a little faster. Lubba, dubba, lubba, dubba. Now as fast as you can go. Lubba, dubba, lubba, dubba, lubba, dubba, lubba, dubba, lubba. Sit down. Whew. Relax. Especially when you get your grades and your tests back. Don't get all tensed up inside. Your heart works hard for you. Do things that are healthy for your heart. Get enough sleep, enough exercise, eat wholesome food, get plenty of fresh air and have fun. Good times are good for your heart. You know, your heart is such an amazing, incredible organ, and yet so few people ever actually get a chance to see it. Except, of course, uh, surgeons in an operating room. Well, we have a special treat for you. We're gonna show you how the heart looks inside a person's body. That's right, here it is. The amazing pump, the heart. Incredible, isn't it? The wonderful, fantastic heart. Step right up and shout it loud. My body is great and I am proud. There's no one else I'd rather be. I treasure the pleasure of being me.